This is Stag Radio. So I am here at the boiler room with Luke Fabian bass and uh, Nick Povey drums. And you are Caravassian. Caravassian. Brilliant. So well done on your set. It was sick. It was very heavy. You're a very talented bassist. Thank you. Man. Like your Appreciate bass that. is really cool as well. How many strings have you got on there? Five. Uh, it's, what, what, what make is that? It's a, it's a Warwick thumb, oh, through it's neck, yeah. extended scale, mm. two custom EMGs. <laughs> but I bought it second hand yeah. off a primary school teacher, so I don't know what <laughs> she's doing with that bass. She wasn't playing metal, certainly. No. She told me anyway, but yeah. yeah. Uh, so um, obviously you, you, you slap bass, don't you? Yeah, oh, finger, finger style, yeah. But yeah. I do use a pick mm. if it's needed. So who are your like primary influences when it comes to your bass playing? Oh, like well, well standard metalhead stuff like Steve Harris from Flea and Les Claypool, um, John Myung from Dream Theater. Yeah. Yeah, all those all those bad boys, yeah. I'm right. trying to think of a new band. Um, the bass is really sick. Help me out, Nick. Nolly is pretty cool. Nolly's pretty good, yeah. yeah. So how long have you been playing together then? Uh, so me and the guitarist James have been uh, writing material for this band for around two and a bit years but in our um, current sort of iteration with a fully realized lineup I'd say like coming up a year thereabouts mm. so, um, so you've been together a year and you're writing all the original stuff aren't you yeah so um, yeah. so when it comes to your songwriting who does what and uh, so it varies really. Sometimes James will come with a few riffs um, or a chord progression. Sometimes I'll have like a rhythm in mind. Um, so it usually tends to start with me and James, but uh, it's something that we're looking to diversify and sort of uh, write with a sort of whole band. Um, and occasionally we do just like jam stuff in a room in practices. Uh, so, like a variety, basically, yeah. So, when it comes to your drumming, I mean, who are your influences? Um, I would say, I'm, at the moment, I'm a really big fan of uh, Matt Garska from Animals as Leaders. I think he's a sick drummer. Um, I think with drummers, for me, I really like metal drummers that don't sound like metal drummers. Yeah. So, you can tell that they haven't necessarily come from a metal background. And so they then have a unique take on it. I also really like a drummer called uh, Stella Morskawa from a band called Warpaint. They don't play music remotely like us, but I think she just has a really deep pocket and a really like sick groove. So I'm quite into that sort of... Um, I'm into the pocket, which makes sense uh, as a drummer. Um, and I think me and Luke sort of really like our dynamic and... Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna um, we're recording this weekend, and okay. we're gonna try and track the drums and the bass live together. Oh, which that's is brave. indeed. <laughs> well, let's hope let's let's hope we're tight enough. I, yeah, I believe we are. Be. I mean, you were on stage for sure. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate right. it, man. But yeah, I mean, from my perspective, in terms of um, composition, uh, I don't contribute in that sense. I just sort of fill in. Yeah. with the bass when they've done the main stuff but I would say from my perspective um, there'll be two words that describe the way they approach songwriting one would be arrangement I spend a long time with the arrangement and the layers and like the ordering of stuff and then detail to the point where it's just singular notes are identified as rogue or be like we really need that half pitch bend in there otherwise I'm just not feeling it <laughs> so I mean that's nice from my perspective yeah. um, yeah, detail and arrangements. So, how would you describe your music? I mean, I, I just saw you now. I mean, it's very, um, it's got, it's got a very melodic taste. I mean, if you don't mind me saying so, some of the chords, like the way it all came together, some of it was so the melody driven. Like some of those were pop chords. At least they sounded like obviously with heavy, hard distortion on it. But it was really melodic. Is that something you? Uh, I think, I think it was like intentional. I think. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we call it George Source, um, our lead guitarist. Um, I think as soon as uh, George and Luke joined the band, it sounded a whole lot less metally and a whole, as you were saying, sort of melodic. Um, 
Personally, I really listen to a lot of post rock, so a lot of sort of explosions in the sky, this will destroy you. Um, I take quite a few big hints uh, from that sort of realm of music. I'd say our sort of MO is kind of to make metal, but with a little bit of a sort of twist and to make it feel more melodic and kind of euphoric and uplifting in a way, which is again something I kind of like to borrow from post-rock. Yeah. Uh, so you said you're recording over the weekend, so what are your future plans? Are we an EP, singles, touring? Um, so yeah, uh, so we've currently got a song out called Premonition, which you can check out, that's our debut single. Uh, we've got another single coming out after that sometime soon, uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, tracking a four song EP, and then after that sort of remains to be seen, but in terms of what you can expect, expect a second single and uh, an EP sometime in the first half of next year, I'd say. And uh, it's probably worth adding that uh, George, uh, the guitarist, I've been working with him um, to sort of help him collect his thoughts and he's mixed, he's recorded and we've got mixed and mastered a whole like 12 track uh, album, which is separate with brass, um, loads of simps. Uh, it's, it's, it's very, uh, it's full of George sauce. Um, yeah, so I'm, we're putting that together to put out in around March um, that we got mixed by um, the guitarist from another tech band called Sentience. And yeah, we're trying to gonna, gonna try and put that out under a hood um, of a label I'm trying to set up with my wife called Blood Mountain Records. But or, or what Nick said, we plan to roll that out and create like a, a collective yeah. where people can just put out their music. Uh, and in terms of recording, uh, I'm recording drums with uh, Mike Mallion formerly of uh, Monuments and Algorithm and currently of Disperse. Um, I really like uh, working with him. Um, so yeah, we've got lots of stuff in the pipeline. Okay, so um, yeah, finally, um, what's success? At what point do you think, at what point will you look at where you've gone with your music and think, you know what, I've made it, I've got there? I'll go first, mine's easy. So in my old band, Hands of a Saviour, um, who George was also in, uh, our, e our album even that we put out, um, we sold about, you know, not crazy numbers, probably about 60 or 70 of them, but I'd say about half of those were shipped out um, to various gen and tech heads all over the world. And we sent like CDs to like, you know, Tallahassee and like China. And for me, that was, that was yeah. success. So everything after that really is, is a bonus. So yeah. I'd say for me, I've got quite modest aims. Like my main goal in this band is to put out a few good records, play with a few sick bands, play with my friends, and just fucking have a good time, man. Like I don't think I have many like ambitions of sort of making it big in any sense. I just think we're all here to have fun and play good tunes with good people. Getting paid would be good once. <laughs> that would also be nice. Well, I, I certainly after tonight, I think you're definitely on your way. Anyway, thank you for stopping by and enjoy your night. Cheers, man. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you for speaking with us. Stack, 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 stack,